Hello, Aries. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I will be doing your money, wealth, finance, prosperity, and abundance reading for the month of September 2020. <clears throat> Excuse me, if this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each month, and I would love to share your money message with you. For the readings this month, I will be using my white tarot deck. For clarifiers, I will be using my Radiant Rider Weight tarot deck. And to close out your reading, Aries, I will be pulling a Magical Messages from the Fairies Oracle card. All right, and I do apologize. If you hear a little bit of background noise, I have my fan going. I live in Las Vegas, and we are under an extreme heat warning right now. Uh, the highs have been like 112, 115. Uh, I think yesterday was 116. So, um, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> so, I apologize if you can hear, uh, if you can hear the the fan going. But let's go ahead and get right into your reading, Aries. Uh, as you can see, the cards are already starting to come out. So what do we need to know for the sign of Aries? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of September 2020. Okay, so looks like uh, something is happening, but it's not ready yet. Okay, so you're going to have to play a little bit of a waiting game, uh, Aries, but I think you're going to be okay. I really do. Let me make sure. Okay. Uh, I say that because we have the full card, then we have the death card in reverse. Then we have Five of Wands, Four of Swords, Justice, and the Three of Pentacles. So, there's something new and exciting brewing. However, it's not quite ready yet. And I can say that because the Death card is in the reverse. This means uh, no big changes are happening just yet, okay? I mean, changes are kind of working their way uh, into your life. <laughs> But um, things are still not quite, you know, settled. Things are still not quite locked down. Uh, maybe that's not the right word, not locked down, but things are not, you know, solid. Um, the interesting thing is, though, is that once the decision is made, especially as it relates to your money, uh, things are going to happen in a very brilliant way wonderful uh, attention getting way okay so I'm feeling like there's a new job or a new career or a new um, a new project that is starting a new business uh, there's something that you're working on Aries or there's something that's going to be presented to you and it's exciting and the funny thing is is that you don't know anything about this you know so let's say someone says hey uh, I have this new uh, business and I would love for you to be my partner and it's about something that you have nothing and no idea about but for some reason it's very intriguing and you're very drawn to it. Now, it doesn't have to be a business. It could be a new job. Maybe you see a job posting about something and you're like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to do this. And look, this company is hiring. And you're feeling really, really drawn to something that has a huge, huge money potential. The thing is, is the opportunity is there. It's not that. But the timing may not be the best right now. Okay, so that's what I want to get, you know, get across. And the reason why I say that is because the death card is in reverse and we also have the four of swords here. Now, the four of swords, this is the card about stepping back, retreat, uh, meditating, going within, uh, being patient, right? Because once the decision is made with the justice card here, you get right to work, okay? Now, this doesn't have to be 
you know, your brand new uh, day to day nine to five. This could be something on the side. This could be something you do on the weekends, whatever the case may be. But I just want to acknowledge that if there is something you are drawn to, if there is something that you are feeling a calling for, if you are feeling like the time uh, to really make this move is now, uh, the cards are saying, yes, go for it. You're just going to have to be a little patient and you're going to have to trust the decisions that are being made because when all is said and done, you're going to be very, very busy. Now, the only thing is you are going to get some pushback from people around you. We have the Five of Wands here. Now, the Five of Wands, this is the card about conversations not going that well. Uh, this is also the card of miscommunication, sometimes bickering, sometimes arguments, sometimes misunderstandings, okay? So you may feel really, really drawn to something and feeling that pull, and you decide to go for it, and then you have somebody in your ear saying you don't need to do that why are you trying to do that now's not the time you know whatever nonsense people like to spit out and i'm gonna tell you <laughs> stay strong aries stay strong be patient because when things start happening they start happening okay and i'm feeling this is a lot of fun i'm feeling this vibrant uh exuberant uh joyous fun spark <laughs> coming through as I'm looking at these cards here. So this is going to be something that's fun. So, you know, embrace it, enjoy it, uh, you know, and if things don't move right away, uh, you already know, you already know to be patient. Okay. That's going to work out in your favor. All right. So what else do we need to know? As it relates to Aries, for September 2020, for their money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. Ooh. All right. So, I talked about you being drawn to a new opportunity that is going to pay. It's going to pay off. Not only financially, but it's going to pay off mentally and spiritually for you. You're going to feel really good about this. Uh, but the only thing is, you know, it looks like some good things are also going to be happening at work. That's, that's good, you know. But it's always like, you know how when you decide you're ready to quit a job, and then once you start, you know, sending out resumes and doing that thing, then your job decides, oh, you know, we want to promote her. We want to give her a raise. I see something like that coming uh, with this King of Wands here. Uh, but let's start here with the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, she is a very sharp energy. And when I say sharp, it means that uh, she has no problems uh, saying no to something that does not suit her. And her delivery is not always the most pleasant now, when I look at this in a more figurative way, uh, I do see that, you know, you could be having um, an issue where you have to make a decision to kind of cut something or cut someone off, and you may not deliver that in the nicest way, but it's okay because it doesn't matter. This is something that needs to be done. So I'm saying this here is that don't worry about how you do something. The important thing is that you do it, okay? Whether that be something uh, financially related, something work related, or something business related. Uh, there's something that needs to be cut off. There's something that needs to be taken care of, and you are the one who needs to do it. All right, Aries, um, I can't stress that enough because that's coming through loud and clear when I see this card. Now, as you do that, we have the Three of Swords here. Feelings are going to get hurt. People are going to be uh, emotionally taken aback. Um, and some people are going to be sad and disappointed, but that's not your problem, right? Uh, I mean, I understand, you know, we can be sensitive to other people, but we're not going to allow someone else's feelings to dictate what we do, especially as it relates to our money. That's not who we are, and that's not what we do. Now, the interesting thing here is that this Three of Swords fell onto the Five of Wands. Remember, we talked about that strained communication. So as you are kind of 
cutting things off, doing what you got to do in the most diplomatic way possible, feelings are going to be hurt and people are going to, you know, have stuff to say. And I'm going to tell you right now, Aries, is that you need to just let it roll. Some people are going to get nasty. Some people could get ugly. Uh, some people could fight back. You do what you got to do and you keep it moving. Now, it's going to pay off for you because we have the Ace of Swords. This is a very positive card. Because once all of this is said and done, the path is clear for more to show up for you. More money, more time, more freedom. Uh, you know, even more opportunities on some level, more skill, more uh, things that you're not being weighted down and distracted by. Now your mind is free and clear to really kind of take that class, uh, you know, start that health program that you want to do, um, you know, launch that business, whatever the case may be, you got to clear the clutter so you can actually have the time and the freedom to do what you want to do. Now, the good thing is, is you've got some positive changes here coming to the workplace. If you are an employee, uh, someone's got their eye on you. Someone is watching you. Someone is looking at you. Someone is really loving what you do, and they're considering you for something greater and better. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is the lucky card. This is the card of serendipity. You being in the right place at the right time. You winning <laughs> the jackpot, either theoretically or literally. The Wheel of Fortune is a very, very positive and lucky card. It's you being in the right place at the right time. Uh, I can't say that enough, Aries, that by the time we move through that second week of September, uh, good really starts shifting. Things really start, you know, happening and in, in, in moving in a very positive direction. Okay, so let's see what else shows up for you, Aries. As it relates to money, wealth, Ooh. finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of September 2020. All right, so we got a repeater here. We have the death card now. Things weren't happening at the beginning of September. Once we hit the second half of September, that's when the changes start occurring. They probably will start, you know, things will start changing in a slow way, you know, and you're going to feel maybe a little, I don't know, maybe a little discouraged because things aren't happening quickly. But don't worry, don't worry. Uh, the change is happening. The ball has been set in motion, okay? Things will start happening and changing for the better as it relates to your money, as it relates to this potential opportunity that we talked about earlier. But here we've got the Six of Cups. Who is showing up from your past? I love when I see this card because it means, uh, you know, fond memories. It means a joyful reconnection. It means uh, a past love is coming back into your life. Now, this could be someone, you know, that you had a relationship with. But because we're focused on money and we're focused on, you know, wealth and prosperity, I have a feeling there's something from your past, uh, maybe an old passion project, maybe an old work colleague or something like that is going to show up for you and it's going to be very positive. It's going to be something very joyful, something that really makes you happy and makes you smile. Now we have the Ten of Swords here and the Knight of Pentacles. This Ten of Swords... <sighs> this ton of swords when I see it in the reverse that's a good sign because that means the worst is over as far as emotional hurt but sometimes there's things that you know we thought we let go and then something triggers us and then we realize we really didn't let it go I feel like that's what this is here you know you've kind of processed something but then something happens or somebody says something and then you remember how crappy it was um, but it's okay you know, it's not something that's going to tear you down. Uh, but the thing is, is you have to be really careful with these emotions that you don't allow them to overwhelm you. Because again, that can cloud your uh, abilities to make some good decisions as it relates to your money. So always pay attention to your emotional health because your emotional health is very crucial into having really good, you know, financial health. Uh, next, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone showing up to give you some type of financial support. Now, when I say financial support, I don't necessarily mean like it's going to be someone giving you money, although it could be. 
But um, it could be, too, where someone says, like, you know, I was doing a reading the other day, and um, this card showed up because uh, the woman needed a little bit of a break um, to pay her rent. Like, she didn't have all of her rent money, so she wanted to know, is her, you know, was her landlord going to be uh, nice enough to work things out with her? And he was. So it's like someone showing up with financial support, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's directly uh, money support, okay? Uh, I do feel like someone is going to show up and give you some help. It's not going to be all the help that you need. It's not going to be everything to solve the problem, but it's going to be a good start, you know? Um, and the interesting thing is, I feel like this is more of a personal financial thing. This isn't a work financial thing. This is something in relation to your personal finances. So, you know, it could be, you know, maybe a, a creditor gives you an extension on a bill or, you know, a creditor allows you to skip a payment. It's going to be something like that. Okay. All right, Aries. What do we need to know for the sign of Aries as it relates to Money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of September 2020. Well, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, good news is coming. Good money news is coming. Yay! All right. So, as we close out the month of September, good stuff is happening. But you're going to be working a lot. You're going to be very busy. You're going to be taking on a lot of responsibility, Aries. Okay, we've got the King of Swords here. King of Swords, now again, this is that card of, you know, eliminations and sometimes even taking it a step further. However, because this King of Swords is in the reverse, this tells me that uh, it has something to do with this person or situation kind of resurfacing and you kind of finally decide to put it on hold or either put it to rest forever. Uh, I feel like this is a good, you know, maybe it was a good, you know, reconnection, but that's all it was. It wasn't something, uh, you know, it's not like, oh, we're going to, you know, restart the relationship. It's not like we're going to work together again, but um, it's like, oh, it was great to see you. I'm glad you're doing well. Have a nice life. That's what I'm getting from this card here. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is all about trying to keep things in balance. Like I said, you have, I can tell by these two cards, you're going to be busy. You're going to have your hands full. You're going to have something going on here, something going on here, and then you're going to probably have just your everyday personal life stuff to deal with on top of that. Okay, so just be very, very careful. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Make sure you are, you know, giving yourself uh, breaks when you need them. You know, ask for help if and when you need it. Don't stress yourself out. Now the other nice thing, the thing that I'm also excited about for you is because we have two more positive cards here. We have the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish card, and then we have the World card here. Now the World card talks about things being complete. The cycle uh, is has completed and we're moving into a new phase, right? Now, the Nine of Cups is the wish card, the literal wish card. Whatever you're wishing for, hoping for, it does show up for you. Now, when he's in the reverse, it just means uh, your wish is coming, but maybe in a different way, maybe to a lesser degree. Maybe you don't win a million dollars. Maybe you win half a million. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's like that. It's like it's still good, you know, but it, it maybe wasn't your first choice, but you're definitely not going to say no either, okay? Now, uh, the world card here. This is also another card um, about things just really coming together full circle and you really getting everything in place and everything lined up so you can be successful. This is the card of ultimate success and this is the card of ultimate prosperity and growth 
and uh, really just kind of leveling up in more ways than one. This is very, very good and I'm very, very excited for you, Aries, because this also means that there's a whole new dimension of you know money, wealth, abundance that is just waiting for you. And uh, maybe you weren't ready before, but as we close out September, you're definitely, you're ready. So uh, I want you to get excited and I want you to trust this because it may be a little unfamiliar, but uh, it's definitely something you deserve. Now we have the Knight of Swords here in the Page of Pentacles. This is good news coming as it relates to money. Once we close out September, you're going to get some very, very good money related news. You're going to hear something or the answer is going to be yes, or you're going to uh, learn some information that probably will be the game changer uh, as far as your finances are concerned. Okay, so get ready. Now the Knight of Swords, this is the card of things not happening as swiftly or as smoothly. Now that's okay because that's kind of how things tend to be nowadays. It's like we think something is just going to kind of smoothly play itself out, but then we realize, oh, there's some snags and there's some speed bumps. Okay, but don't get distracted by that. Just trust that the ultimate result is on its way, and however it comes about, you're just going to go with it. Okay, you may hit a bump here, you may have to kind of redo something there, but that's okay. Just remain flexible, trust the process, and stay diligent. Okay, Aries? All right, so September is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's what I'm getting for you, uh, Aries, is that September is going to be a fun month. So let's go ahead and close out your reading. Oh, interesting. Okay, I got two cards for you. I'm going to read them both. First one is Dietary Change. All right, I think someone needed to hear this. <laughs> That's why this one showed up. It says, improve your diet and your life will also improve. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. I know I am working on this myself, so I think this is something we all need to pay attention to. Uh, the other one is do some research. Hmm, okay. You need more information about this situation. Look into it further before proceeding. Uh, I agree. I agree. Do some research, Aries. You know, and I have a feeling you're going to be doing research pretty much all month because you've got, you know, so many interesting things going. You've got so many irons in the fire that, yeah, you do need to do some research. But it's all going to come, <clears throat> excuse me, it's all going to come together. Especially uh, as we close out September, you know, things just kind of come together and you probably don't even see it coming together but you just look and then you realize wow things are definitely working together for my highest good so i hope you enjoyed this aries i hope it was helpful if you have any questions comments concerns observations drop them down below and i want to thank you so much for spending this time with me we'll do it all again very soon